Hi everybody and welcome back to Ukrainia Gaming, I'm Andrew. And today we play some Arts of Iron 4, no step back with Soviet Union. So, in the last episode, as you know, we got ready for the war. It's the 9th of September, 1940, and I think we are ready to go. So, there are still a few things that we have to prepare before being ready for the Barbarossa operation, but uh, I think we're almost there. Okay, so, um, something that I forgot uh, in the last episode was to use the Adjit prop. I think I will use some support in terms of uh, transport, and I'll explain you on, uh, why very soon. There are um, intelligence... Oh, I forgot about those guys here. I have also to assign, once again, in Germany and Italy, our spies. And then we look at the construction. So Kaluga, Kursk and Belogord are building up. Okay, let's let's keep it. Um, and then we are doing mills, which is also okay. We need a lot of RT and a lot of support equipment. Okay. RT 20, it will be more than enough support equipment. Let's say 15 for the time being, it will also be more than enough. The rest will go into fighters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Uh, let's set a location for the next 48 divisions, which will be that for the time being. I think I might need maybe another 24 divisions to put in Turkey. Let's see about that. Let's see about that. And, um, and then, yeah, and then I'll add some pause, but let's slow down. Level... Uh, Speed four. The sentiment, sentimentic radar is done. I think I will start uh, working on my infantry, of course. And yes, the engineer company is going to be useful, I believe, as the recon company is going to be useful, but it will take a lot of time. Let's speed up also with the artillery and let's take another bonus here. So. Oil Production National Academy of Science. This is amazing that we will do it later. Mm, no, I don't need any oil production. I could go for the Leningrad Polytechnic Institute. That's why I did the PCDI. But also for the maximum entrenchment, plus 5%. Uh, let's go for this for the time being. And then we will also build the defenses. Let's see. So one thing that I want to do uh, I will start creating a, a fourth line that will keep out, unfortunately, the trade hub, uh, sorry, the supply hub in Bobrusk. Bobrusk, but I have one in Gomel, that's not a problem. But the big problem is that I will not have the access to the trade node in uh, Kiev. And that's going to be an issue. So we have to build another one here. Same topic for, uh, for Dipo Petrovsk. And for the same reason we are going to build uh, here another uh, another um, hub and probably we will need to connect a level two and probably later also level three to Moscow that's very important It's very important and uh, it will allow us to defend much better this area. Perfect. Let's do it. Um, obviously, all those topics will get the priority, but uh, actually they get the priority right now. Because it takes a while, you see December 40, and because now we have the bonus, so we should use it, and then we continue with the um, with, with the factories. Uh, I know that the factories are important, but I don't want to forget about this topic. And anyways, we will not need so many factories. Okay, here we continue, but we need more artillery. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's give maximum uh, priority to those guys of the Strekovaya, and less to the reinforcement for the time being, then it will be the, the other way around when we will be finished. And let's go to the industry. Mm, nope. Yeah, let's boost the radar. We have to build radars, by the way. And now we can also 
break the ah oh, yeah let's say, let's boost the resource speed let's do it okay now i can speed up now i can definitely speed up and then i will also increase the manpower only one uh, only when the 48 divisions will be ready very good and then we will have to prepare the the lines one in turkey and one oh okay we have uh, the level two anti-air this is actually very important this is actually very important and we need a line for this we do need a line um we have enough artillery in my in my perspective minus 1000 we will be able to have enough artillery when the war starts so now i start with an anti-air improved let's take let's do 10 of them and we will decrease the artillery to 15 and the infantry equipment to 15. it might be a it might be a mistake but i need to have anti-air in my Templates. I must use them. So let's do it. Next focus. The Molotov line. That's gonna be cool. Stalin line even better. Protect the white canal, far east fortification, move the industry, blah blah blah. Many, many interesting things. Um mobilization, mobilization speed, maximum command power, political power, nope. I'm trying to see if I can find some quick and uh, important and easy um, boost. No, I think I cannot do that. So I'm going to maybe... I, I have to decide whether I want to have the Leningrad Polytechnic Institute or maybe improve the quality of my uh, air wings. So let's let's uh, try to get a better Soviet Air Force. I think it's a good idea. Let's do that. Fine, 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 fine. With the transport flights. Good. So now, what do we need? 619 RT. Ah, 2800 uh, support. This is actually very important. I will probably uh, move it to 20. I will move it to 20. So, as you can see, our, our uh, railways are done already. Kiev and Zaporozhye are almost done with the, the, the supply hub and we will be happy. We will be, we will be definitely happy that we have this in place. So, transport flights are there. Let's say foster the flight flying clubs, absolutely. This is going to decrease the accidents that our Air Force will have. And if we don't want to be so horrible, look at this, in terms of Soviet Air Force, we need those ideas before the war starts. Okay, now we have to just power up a little bit our first army. And then we will think about the second one. And the 1st of January, I start moving the troops and positioning them better. Okay, you can see now we have 35 divisions. Uh, they are on stop because we don't have enough support equipment, which is really bad. It's disgraceful, but I cannot, I cannot do that much. And let me see, I have run about 140 divisions. Um, if I want to enter here, the anti-air, it, it will give me, I will need 20 anti-air per division. So we said 150, okay, not every, thing is infantry let's say 120 anyways it's 2400 uh, support anti-air that i will need and for the, at the moment i have only 300 so i'm going to wait before changing the template but i will do change the template fine here everything is good let's go fine now um, we start giving to this person here and this person here another commander. Let's promote uh, Golikov. Let's promote Golikov uh, to Field Marshal. His Field Marshal will be also Defensive Doctrine and Charismatic. And we are going to cancel. Yeah, that, that was not my smartest move, but fine. 
Um, this is what I wanted to do. Those guys uh, uh, will have one mission, defend the coast of Turkey, but those other guys here, nine, that's not enough, but fine, will create a fallback line and protect this area. For the others, I think that's going to be in it for now. I will create anyways some um, support uh, troops that will stay behind the main line. Fine. Let's start working on the armors because this is going to be very important. So, construction. Now we are doing only military factories and that's great. But I will continue this once I'm done with another topic, which is the following. Let's build our defensive line. We don't need a lot of a lot of uh, um, bunkers, but just to have a little line will help. Okay, my, my bad, and uh, also here. And then we will also do the anti-air in all those regions. It's important that once the enemy tries to bring the, 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 the airplanes, they also have our fighters and the anti-air on the ground that is shooting at them. Centimetric radar, done. Nope. Um, assembly line production, why not? Okay, and the cipher of the Reich is fully deciphered. Very good. So now we will foster the flying clubs, we will have ace generation, a uh, air wing training experience lost. So a, a, a lot of uh, bonuses, and then we will continue on this path, just to have a very good uh, air force. Probably not like the Germans, but something something similar. And then we start deleting all the other orders, because we don't care in staying in this position anymore. Not at all. Not at all. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you. So, Zhukov, with the Mountaineers, there are no mountains here, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. But I think that Zhukov will take a full back line here, in this area, till Kiev. Then, Rosokovsky, no, not, not, not here, absolutely not. Uh, the full back line uh, will also Go up till Mogilev. Here Osakovsky will support because he has the tanks. And uh, I think someone is missing. Yeah. Full back line. Also, I think I think it's going to be okay, but we do another line here. This Strekova, yeah, is doing another fallback line exactly behind Rosokovsky. Because if Vitebsk needs some support or Mogilev, uh, they will be there and they will intervene. Now, women in aviation, same topic, we will have um, better uh, bonuses. 
70 days air wing experience last one killed air wing training experience this is about experience this is better because it will decrease the accident chance i think it's better so now here if there will be some attack on the coast of turkey we will have some army here to defend ourselves plus we are having uh, also a good line by the way land forts we have also to fortify ourselves here otherwise it's not going to be so easy and now it's time for war Yugoslavia declared war let me see how it's going with the logistics so 710 anti-air artillery infantry trucks light tanks support equipment is always terrible and uh, wow let's increase the number of uh, of troops that we are going to train uh, we will have more troops i will deploy them also in turkey And we definitely need more manpower, but not yet. Very good. Very, very good. I, I think we will need a second line also here. Usually it's difficult to hold. This area is difficult to hold and this area. Let's see. Um, now, the, the first line of, uh, of bunkers is done, now we have the anti-air, and we need also to build a, tons, uh, a ton of radar stations. So, we will have a level 5 here, a level 5 here, 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 and here. Again, once everything is done. And then I think we will be ready with the radars, the airplanes, and so. Uh, talking about airplanes... As you can see, our air force at the moment is not that good. Move those to Istanbul to defend Greece. Those we move here and defend uh, Ukraine. And then for the rest, uh, okay, interwar fighter. We take 200 guys here. They stay here and they do what they can. Very good. Also here, probably closer support. Also 200. In Ukraine. And the rest uh, we go in Belarus. 200. Oh, what's going on? Non-aggression pact with Japan. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Perfect. We don't have a lot of airplanes. I am aware of it. But still... Four hundred that we split them and we deploy them. Plus one hundred eleven Sturmovic. Great. So now it seems that we are almost ready, and there is a word justification against us. As I said, I was expecting this. So twenty-five. Nope. Let's move. Let's move more troops to the front. And uh, uh, there is a word justification, so I see that the, the bunkers are done. Now we are working on the radars. Uh, everything else should be in position, except for the fact that we need more anti-air and we cannot deploy that. And if I, if I give the anti-air to my troops, I did it already, right? Well, I can use what I have. It's March. I think the war will start in two, three months if they are uh, now doing the justification. So in two, three months, if I do, let's say, nine per day. Mm, yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. And your support. Save. And now our our troops will definitely be better against also the aircrafts. Great. 
Do we have any issue with logistic here? So far so good. Look here we have we might have some issues. Let's give to every army that we have, every single army super truck support. Um it's great. Wait, this is great, but this is getting probably Wait a minute, because this supply hub is getting a level 2, where they could get a level 3 somewhere else. Oh man, I forgot this one. You see, I definitely forgot something. We can, we can provide a level 3. Mm -hmm. No, I don't need this. Fine. Okay, those guys are all green. Too late. Or... Let's train them. They are not green anymore. Let's train all, all the troops that uh, uh, need to be fully... Yeah, because I mean, I, I, I really hate to have uh, uh, rookies on the field. I really dislike it, so. We create another full decline here. And research slot available. Tank. Let's tank together. Good. Okay, under the leadership of Stalin, we will accomplish a high yield. I think it's good. And let's take also more metal for the motherland, whatever. We will export more. So now I have another 20 divisions uh, in training. And how many anti air I need? 2,300, so my, my calculation was completely wrong. <laughs> I needed much more of it, but fine. At least some of my troops will have anti-air. Not everybody, but some. So which means that I need to boost a little bit. Let's intensify the pilot training. So with the radars, the aircrafts, and the policies, I hope that I will not be crushed immediately because it's obvious that Germany has much better, much, much better level of technology and so on. Uh, by the way, I always think that the organization is horrible because my troops need more training and experience, but soon they will have it. So before the war starts, we will have really a lot of very well-trained troops and motivated we have three civilian factories we are going to create a land fort yeah that's a level one so level one costs i think 500 the level two should be 1000 exactly it's always adding 500 to the cost so then it's 1005 2000 to and five and so on so to have two levels of fort is absolutely cheap, and why not? And of course, I'm going to build more factories, but so far, so good. Edirne will have a level 3, because if I lose this area, then it's going to be tricky. Fine. Yugoslavia has capitulated, we are next. Who's going? Who's here? Vatutin is here. Okay. Of, of course, there was a mistake. It was a big mistake from my side. So let's see. Where are my troops? But I'm happy that I have. Uh, I found this. Because now I can give another full back line uh, behind Kiev and Chernigov.
Yeah. And this guy is gonna is going here, and will defend much better. We have now more troops. We have now more troops, my lord. Uh, so minus a thousand and two hundred anti here. Minus a thousand support to keep. Support to keep is gonna be fine. The anti air is not. Artillery plus two thousand. That's quite good, but maybe I could give some. Curse them, guys! It's the first of May, and they declared war. They declared war on us. I'm going to give the support uh, uh, artillery to the tanks because we have uh, we have this artillery, so why not? But that's really really bad. That's really bad. Let me take the the fleet and let's put it here. To East, uh, close to Istanbul, so we will do some uh, naval bomb uh, bombing. Let me see if I left someone here. Well, I was really good in time uh, by uh, while leaving Romania, and then I'm now I'm full of really. I am very happy about this. I'm full of uh, political power because I am going to use scorched earth everywhere where I can. And that should slow down our friends, the Germans. That should slow them down a little bit. Great. Also means we lose Minsk and we will lose Kiev. I wouldn't like to lose any other city, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm pause. We will see as soon as we will uh be attacked. What will happen? We still have 20 divisions. Very useful. Okay, so far in Turkey they are not trying to attack us, so we are we'll be able to actually we have been able to uh, finish the, the forts here. Yes, level three. Absolutely. Very good. We have a we, we have problems with the logistic shit. That's, that's, that's tricky. That's tricky to get, to get this one. Um, it's time to stop the training, friends. That's, that's enough. Thank you. Man. Okay, we train our troops. Now we stop. Because uh, soon they will see the real life. Let's put it this way. Okay. Okay. I think I can switch to uh, total mobilization. Let me see what's gonna happen. So with the world economy, I'm getting consumer good 20%, military to civilian minus 20, civilian to military minus 20, military factory speed plus 20. With the total mobilization, we will have less recruitable population and consumer goods factories 10%. Hmm. I mean, I could increase the limit and conscription and then go. Let's let me take the total mobilization. I, I, I like this. I won't have a lot of manpower, but uh, I think it's going to be very fun. Then we will, when we will start building up our military factories, it's going to be fast and Yes, I like this idea. Let's use it. Stop. Look at this. They tend to push here. 770. Okay, they are getting naval bombed, but um, this is the moment where I move some of my troops and uh, get the support. Let's see if we will be able to win this one. Yes, we are. We are. We are able to win this one. That's the first battle that happens. And it seems that the German tried to, to push with a lot of troops, but as the one thing, let's keep let's say three units in full back line here. 
and whenever whenever the Germans are trying to pushing, uh, those three divisions will just support, and that will be enough. Good, good, good. Japan declared war on the Philippines. Okay, we have everything here, so we could actually deploy. Amazing, we have almost everything. So we need just some support equipment and anti-air, but our infantry is ready. If I pick any kind of a, a, a infantry, we have also some anti-air included. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Okay. So once this is now done, okay, we, we can, we can, sorry. We can save some resources. Let's do it. Once this is done, so the rudders and the build up of uh, the forts, we will go back to the, to the to the military factories and I think it's gonna be okay. okay the cipher of the Reich is fully decrypted. Very good, very good, very good. Look at them. Look at their organization. They're not fighting against anyone and their organization is already so low due to the lack of logistic, I guess. That's quite good. We're getting some expeditionary forces soon. Advanced engine, yes. Okay, now we will, with our tanks we can also be satisfied. As soon as the pilot training program will be done. Oh man, what's going on here? This is not This is not as expected. Um come on. Come on. That's not as expected at all. The Germans and the Italian have concentrated something like, I don't know, let me count them. They have 16, year, 16 divisions only in Burgas. Why? Why are they doing this? I have uh, serious questions about this move, but fine. Of course, when they push, we, we, we come back and we try to defend again. So, eventually, they're getting the short bombardment at four, but they have our support. The enemy air um, is, of course, stronger. Understood. Understood. Kiev is fallen. Has fallen, yeah. Man, okay. Uh, I think, I think, yeah, we have to do a little... A little change in the program. Wow. I wasn't expecting it, but fine. Fine. Let's do this. Okay, our airplanes are in the, on the right place. Um, Let's go back. So now we, we try to leave Istanbul to the Axis and uh, we defend ourselves on the other side. It's gonna be easier. Man. Uh, we have to move to Izmir because they blocked us. Wow. Wow, look at this, look at this. We are really running away because they they ca they captured this area quite well. On the other hand, uh, here in Kiev, I saw a battle, but I couldn't see actually how it worked out. Well, 
We could save some of our divisions. Most of them have been capture, captured. Shit. There you go, all here. And the rest will do the area defense, as I suggested before. Only on the coast. Good. That should be it. Fine. That should be it. So, um, we spent a lot of time and resources to fortify an area that we lost. Well, 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 Salavi. We bring the Mongolians in Turkey, just in case. And we see each other next time. I hope you guys liked this video. In that case, please leave a like, a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. And um, soon, in the next episode, we will see if the Stalin line will, <laughs> will really hold and if we will be able to hold in Turkey. In the worst case scenario, we will do another few lines around the rivers and then on the hills but it, in any case the enemy should never ever be able to take the control of Baku and the area in Azerbaijan. I hope that it will work. Thank you for watching and see you next time.